And here we come to the scene of a death of one of the local crows. And the way that you can tell that this little crow didn't just get into fight and lose some feathers. <clears throat> so if we look down and we can see all these little ones here and how they're clumped together. Now in order to rip out feathers like this on a crow, you're, you're doing a lot of damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect some of the larger feathers. Yeah, because you can see this lump here. I mean, that crow was just shredded. I'm suspecting it was one of the fledges. But it could have been one of the older ones. Now, because of this, I'd say that this would have happened yesterday. Because of this, the crows are not coming over. They're usually, whenever I come down here, they're usually nuts. They're usually really excited because I always bring them food. And even though I've brought them food today, they, they won't come down in the park. They're flying around, but they're not coming down. So I suspect there was a pretty traumatic experience for these birdies. Because crows have a very, crows have a very close family. And when one dies, they actually have funeral rites. A lot of people are going to just say that I'm bullshitting them, but no, I've seen it. Crows, they do have funerals. They care for their family members very much. I can hear them off in the distance. They're all excited. So, hopefully by picking up some of these feathers, it'll help, help them a bit help them calm down from this area because there's not as much evidence of this left behind. There's feathers all over the place. Now there was a feather trail leading down over the bank so I'm just going to quickly look over the bank and see if there's anything there. The camera's probably going to get shaky as I try to tie the back. Alright. Well I don't see anything down here. There's some fill that's been thrown down, but I don't see any more crow parts or crow. So I suspect that what happened here was an eagle, hawk, 